A look at your National Coast to Coast forecast here on this Thursday, May 26th, includes severe storm chances continuing through the end of the week. A little bit better chance of seeing some large hail damaging winds and tornadoes, though, on this Thursday in the central and southern plains. And along with that comes some very heavy rainfall and some flood concerns. The eastern two-thirds of the nation, though, looking warmer than average as we end the month of May off with. All right, so here's your severe weather concerns today. We have an enhanced threat of parts of Nebraska and Kansas, even down into central Texas, and large hail damaging winds and tornadoes within this area. But seeing that severe weather chance even stretch out into the UP Michigan, a pretty minimal chance, but at least that is uh, possible. A marginal threat stretching up and down the plains here on Friday. Better chance of seeing some severe storms over the Arklatex region uh, Friday afternoon, and then another threat for some isolated strong storms from your Kansas City back down to the coastal bend of Texas, and that heavy rainfall threat again continuing. So here we are on this Thursday. Showers and storms developing in the plains within the uh, risk areas, again enhanced over the central and southern plains. And then by tonight and tomorrow morning, the threat shifting a little bit farther east, kind of diminishing. And then on uh, Friday afternoon, better chance of more organized severe storms from Oklahoma to Texas. Meanwhile, we'll have some snow ongoing. And the high elevations of the Colorado Rockies there. And then as this next system of energy pushes out of the plains, showers and storms again developing in the upper Mississippi Valley for that uh, Friday night and Saturday time frame. These yellows and oranges indicating about two to near four plus inch rainfall tallies. And it does appear that that could uh, lead to some flooding yet through the next few day time period. Some snowfall through the central and northern Rockies, mainly over the next few days, but cooler than average conditions take us into the early part of June through southern portions of the nation. Still look warmer than average in the eastern half of the country and also warming up back to the west. But temperatures in the central U.S. today will be about 10 degrees above average for places here like Dallas and Minneapolis, even St. Louis warmer than average.